Good morning, Coastline. This morning, I would like to share something that I have spoken on a few times and still today feel convicted by it and I'm trying to fix it. Many will tell you that if I'm picking on you, that means I like you. See, I pick on people by joking with them and sometimes go too far by cutting them down in a fun way. But you know, honestly, I feel really convicted by this lately. In Proverbs 18, 21, it says this, the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Ouch, that says so much. Life and death are in the tongue. I know growing up, one of the main words I remember hearing more than any other was disappointing. I mean, I wasn't the best son in the world for sure, but that word has hung in my head all of my life. I struggle really bad when I mess up now because I had this overwhelming fear of disappointing people. The only reason I tell you this is we have to be careful what we say. See, the book of James says a lot about this subject. It compares the tongue to a ship's rudder, that even though small, it steers the whole body. It says the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. It also says no man can tame it. But I want you to hear this. With God, through the work of the Holy Spirit, we can change this. Listen to this verse in Luke 6:45. A good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart, and an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. What you say flows from what is in your heart. Did you catch that? What comes out of your mouth flows from your heart. See, we all know that God is working on our heart every day. If we are in His Word and letting His Holy Spirit lead us down this road of sanctification, work at letting God change your heart and your words will follow. One last thing from, the, from Proverbs. Proverbs 17, 28 says this, Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is considered prudent. But Mark Twain said it in this way, It's better to keep your mouth shut and appear stupid than open it and remove all doubt.